Good morning and welcome to the further conversation on anonymous questions that were asked during the study sex tour at Tufts University where we talked about female sexual pleasure. Um, in the last few videos we talked about uh, keeping the vagina healthy and um, what not to put in it, uh, drugs and desire, and in this video we're going to talk about hand jobs. So, Yes, the program was on female sexual pleasure, but there were a lot of questions that came in regarding hand jobs. So, in order to save time and to really get at the heart of the majority of the questions that were asked, I'm going to answer three questions that were um, posed in the workshop that I did not get a chance to answer. So, the first question is How do I communicate that hand jobs hurt? Sometimes a lot. So the first thing I would say is, is tell your partner that they hurt. Um, it's really important to communicate with your partner in regards to what feels good and what doesn't. Um, maybe you're uncomfortable with telling them, oh, that's a little too rough. Uh, but you could use nonverbal facial cues to give someone some information on if you're experiencing pleasure or pain. Um, moaning is a really great way of giving Feedback that's not too direct, um, but gives positive reinforcement. And if you don't like something, you could get very, very quiet. Uh, people respond very well to auditory sounds. So um, if you're not comfortable saying that hurts, then maybe you could stay a little bit more quiet. Um, hand jobs should not hurt. Sexual behavior should not hurt unless that's your goal. Um, but it sounds from this question that it is not. So a couple things that I would recommend is Show your partner how you like to be touched, what type of pressure you like. Um, sometimes people think that hand jobs are supposed to be really fast and very aggressive because that's what they see on TV and then just looks like, wow, they're really like going to town down there. Um, but hand jobs should be considered a fine art in sexual playtime. And lubrication can be a great aid in terms of delivering a quality hand job that doesn't cause chafing or pain. So some of the lubrications that I would recommend would be Gun Oil, um, fantastic lubrication, Stroke 29, another amazing lubrication. Although Stroke 29 is not safe for vaginas. So if there's a vagina nearby, don't engage and play with it unless there's been some cleanup time after. Um, but tell your partner, your partner doesn't want to hurt you. So let them know like, oh, that's a little too much. Here's how I like to be touched. Here's the pressure that I like. Um, let me show you. So you could take your hand and place it over your penis and then have your partner put their hand on top of your hand as you start to stroke yourself. And that will give your partner direct feedback of how much pressure you actually like during hand jobs. So the second question is, <clears throat> and I love this, do girls know not to take it personally if they fail at a hand job? Um, so no, I don't think that people necessarily know that they shouldn't take it personally because sex is very personal. And most people, when they engage in sexual play with another person, they want to do it right. They want to feel like they did a good job and that they're a good lover. Um, so. Keeping that in mind, that most people are going to take it personally. Now, what should be noted is the fact that um, hand jobs can be enjoyed without necessarily leading to an orgasm. So I don't know if that's what the person means by fail, um, but you can give someone a great hand job and not have them come or ejaculate. They could just get a hand job and really enjoy it. They like the sensations that are taking place. They like the intimacy that's taking place, they like the fact that you're touching their penis, like all of these are great things. And if an orgasm occurs, bonus. Um, but if it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you failed. It just means that there are other ways that you can explore the sexuality that you two are sharing. So you are responsible for your own orgasm. And if someone doesn't give you an orgasm, it doesn't mean that they, they failed. It just means that maybe something wasn't working in the right way to get you to pop. Um, but you can enjoy sexuality without having it lead to orgasm because 
focusing on the orgasm is considered goal-focused sex, kind of like a PowerPoint presentation in which, you know, you're supposed to do it this way, this way, this way, this way. And if you miss a step or you don't reach a step, then you've done something wrong. And that leads to failure, that leads to insecurities, that leads to disappointment. And sex should really be about playtime for consenting adults. So if something doesn't happen, that's okay. There's always tomorrow. And then the last question that we have about hand jobs is how long should a good hand job last? So there's no like, ah, that makes a good hand job. Um, hand jobs are good when someone says that that feels really good, um, or I'd like to try something else, or I just had an orgasm and that was fantastic. Thank you so much, honey. Um, a good hand job should include an enthusiastic partner, lubrication, time communication, um, paying attention to your bo your partner's body movements and nonverbal and verbal cues, um, and enjoying yourself. Nothing is as sexy as a consenting, happy partner. Um, and if somebody is just going along like this, that doesn't make for a good hand job. It doesn't make for really good anything. You want to have like an eager bunny with you when you're experiencing sexual playtime, whether it be through hand jobs or hand stimulation or oral or vaginal or anal or any of those types of things. Um, but there's no set time in terms of how long a good hand job should take. It should take as long until the person feels good. Um, and you can expand upon that by engaging in other behaviors. So just because you start a behavior doesn't mean you have to end with a behavior. Um, and a lot of people get caught up in that, that they start a hand job, the person has to end with an orgasm. And that's not true. That's goal-focused sex. I want you to be having pleasure-focused sex in which you pay attention to the sensations and the way that the body feels and the way that your mind feels and that everyone is a happy camper. So that concludes our questions that were asked anonymously regarding hand jobs at Tufts University for the Female Sexual Pleasure Workshop. That was part of the study sex tour um, made possible by our fantastic sponsors like Tenga and Spare Parts and Jeju um, and Oh My Bod and Empowered Products, which make those lubes that I was talking about, uh, and Nexus. So pay attention to them. Go check out their sites. Look more at the videos that are going to be coming soon because I have hundreds of questions still left. And thanks for spending some time and learning about hand jobs.